Hey, what's going on? JD here. Today we've got a motion tutorial for you and we're gonna show you how to make a title just like this. So some people might wonder why I'm using motion versus After Effects. Well, the simple truth is, is cost. Apple's Motion is a very cheap program, very easy to use, and for what I do, it is more than enough power. I mean, obviously, if you're making gigantic cinematic special effects and all that kind of stuff, you might want to move to something like After Effects, but motion is more than most of us will ever need. So I'm going to show you a simple way in which we're going to draw a box, have our title appear, and the box is going to undraw, and it's all going to fade away, and it's that simple. All right, we're just gonna click open motion. We're gonna select motion project and we're gonna open a new project. I'm just gonna fit my screen so I can see the area so I know that I'm fitting right within the safe areas. I'm gonna change the first group to rectangle. And then I'm gonna click on the rectangle tool and just slickly, quickly drag and draw a rectangle. That's simple. Then I'm gonna center it just because I wanna be within the safe areas. When you're in Final Cut, you can move it wherever you like, but just for now, I just wanna be in the safe areas and make sure I'm not cutting anything off. And if I go to the inspector here, you can see the joint. I want square, end cap, start cap. I want it all square because I want a nice clean look. We're gonna create a new group, and this is where we're going to put our text. So I'm gonna start by typing out text is the group. And then I'm going to find where I want on the timeline here. And I'm gonna go a full second in, so 60 frames. And I'm just gonna type in, you can type in whatever you like, but I'm just gonna put video for now. It's probably not what I'm gonna use in the end. So I'm just gonna drag that and make it a little bit bigger and I'm also going to try to center that in my video box. So I'm just going to adjust it to sort of where I want it to be. And I think that looks fairly good. And again, we'll just center it. And that's another good reason to just center it is because it's easier to do things like that. I'm just going to change the tracking a bit and the spacing so it's a little more visually appealing. And as you can see, as we sc scrub through, that the box and the video just appear. So I'm going to cut it, I'm going to say about here. And that's where I'm going to want it out. Because basically the effect, we're going to have the box drawn in and then the box is going to erase itself. So we're gonna add some behaviors. So we're gonna to go to Tech Basic and we're going to go with Rotate In. So what this will do, it, it will rotate the letters so they appear. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate them out. So as you see, it puts it there. So we're just gonna drag that over and then it's gonna drag out. Now obviously we still have the box and we're gonna to have to deal with that. So we're going to go to library here and we're going to click on behaviors. We're going to click on shape and we're going to click right on. And this will write on, it will basically make that rectangle so it writes itself on. So if we scrub through now, you can see the line creates itself. Video appears, it keeps on going, it disappears and essentially it draws the whole self. But that's not what we want for this animation. We want it to draw it on and then we want it to come off. So we're gonna to switch to the inspector and we're going to change basically to draw and erase for shape outline. So as you can see, it's gonna draw and it's gonna erase. However, that is a little too fast for our liking. So basically I'm gonna find a spot where it's good we're going to click on the keyframes here. And then we're going to change from a constant 
to a custom. So now we've got a custom speed. And as you can see in the keyframes here, we're going to click on the keyframe for custom speed. And we're going to plot that right about there at 50. So you can see it draws, it erases. But what we're going to want to do is at that moment where it hits that 50 point, where it's 50% of the box is drawn, we're going to make that consistent through the middle. So we're going to add a second keyframe here. And we're going to change that again to 50. So what that does is basically it uh, creates a path. So we're going to have a linear movement. So it's basically straight across. And then you're going to see it's going to pause. And then it's going to speed up and go. And it's done. So thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. For those of you who don't have motion and still want to use it and are editing with Final Cut Pro, I'm going to throw a link down below so you can download this template and utilize it in your videos. And hopefully you've learned something and you're going to start using these tools to make something bigger and better and help make your videos that much more exciting. Until next time, remember to like, comment, subscribe. See ya.